that is a church of the firstborn. Mm. That is a church called the church of the of the firstborn dead that, that we reign with Jesus Christ. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I, I feel that we will spend time not just here on our own you know, corner, mm. spend time, you know, ask God, mm. show us this book. Mm. This is life. This thing is not a game. It's, it's not for religious exercise. It's not just to study, to do academic, you know, works around it, write volumes of theology. No, that's not what it is meant for. If you don't plow my Haifa, there's no way you would have gotten my ring. So God can never give the true world to the apostate church. As long as I'm concerned, the work of the church of 2000 years is over. Mm. God is no longer with you. And we can't tread that path and have it. Mm. That they have treaded a path and, uh, you know, <coughs> destroy the whole work. They are in the big work. It's a cast not the pearl. So there are precious things mm. he cannot draw mm. until he found people, the rightful people, the rightful people that he, mm. he trusted. That's what they have been searching. The eyes of God. He is right. screaming right. people, oh, screaming oh, out. Oh, my, my, oh, my, my eye run to and fro. Yeah, looking, for looking for those yeah. who seek me with all their heart. Yeah. They run to and fro. They, they say, destiny is so much precious to God. Mm. So much precious to God. Now, he get back to, 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 to Jacob and Esau. He said, Esau, I love. Esau, I hate Jacob, I love. Well, because he has scanned them. He has scanned their heart and know the, how sacred Jacob will handle it. Mm. How sacred Jacob will handle it. He look into their future, look into the state of their heart, mm. look into them. Mm. Even when Isaac was about to mix it, mm. when he said, give me five the same that I may eat, that's not the way to bless. Mm. When I seek what I'm the verge of mixing that's it. That's not the way to bless. Yeah, that's not the way. When I seek was at the verge of blessing the wrong person. Mm. There was a divine intervention. Mm. Hallelujah. There was a divine intervention. Then, in the days of Jacob, when Jacob, Isaac was in the flesh. But when Jacob was about, anything you see in the old, you see in the new, the Bible says, and Jacob was leaning on his on staff, staff, worshiping, mm. in getting heaven, in getting heaven Ooh. with the right person. Where, who, can, who can custode this covenant? Yes, yes, yes. This is the only thing I have. Mm. He was discerning and praying. Even when, when the normal way they brought Ephraim, mm. Mm. They brought Ephraim and uh, Manasseh. Nah. When they brought them, positioned them, mm. he crossed the hand oh, and said, This yeah. is it, it is the, the act of God. Mm. He just crossed it and said, This is where mm. it is. For he that is blessed mm. shall be said that he is like Ephraim. So this is the blessing of God. This is Christ. Mm. For anyone blessed is the man. Mm. This is a blessed man. So Ephraim, he transferred to Ephraim. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now what I'm trying to say, <laughs> sometimes when you see something like trumpet, it might be there that day that God hid that thing. Mm. You might not know. You may see something, it might be there he hid it. Mm. So keep searching. Search the scripture, mm. not just read. In them you have life. Mm. You see, sometimes I keep, you know, other people, when Paul said that, all scripture, not so. Mm. All scripture is given by the mm. inspiration, and they are all profitable. Mm. Everything here is profitable, sir. Mm. They are all profitable for doctrine, mm. for instruction, mm. for correction, mm. instructions in righteousness. Mm. That the man of God mm. will be thoroughly furnished, mm. equipped for every good work. Mm. That the man of God. So such in turn, we, we, we extract the life. Can you see how God, you see, <coughs> God just met a, a Abraham and show him a city. Mm. Abraham begin to pursue city. Mm. Can't you see for the, the past 2,000 years, the church have been saying that we want to go to heaven. 
without understanding Yahweh's parable there. We want to go to heaven, we want to live in heaven, build houses in heaven. Mm. When he was talking of house is mansion, mm. they, they, they don't know that God is talking about building you and I as a mansion mm. where we will live for eternity forever and ever. Mm. And we want to go. Some people say, Ah, I was in the dream and see my house is being the, 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 the God is something. <laughs> Paul said, when I was a child, I think like a child and mm. behave like a child. We taught all those things as a child. Mm. Then when we grew up, we, we started searching the street mm. that is made of gold in the, in the book of Revelation. Mm. So but what I'm seeing that it is a divine man, mm. the man in the statue of Christ, mm. that his seat has become the gold. Mm. Mm. These are parables of God. Mm. These are parables. He hid it. Something say, I give you seven days to interpret my parable. Out of the eat comes something to eat. Out of the strong comes the sweetness. The strong is the children. Mm. Out of feet comes the bride. That's where you come from. Mm. Because it will die now. The church will die. Mm. Then out of the dead body of God, That's right. then we we'll get the bride of Christ. Hallelujah. Then we we'll get the bride of Christ. Pray Lord Jesus. So we will spend time to pray for God to, to give us access. Because if we if we don't get what this is where it is now, Holy Spirit is going to work with you based on the understanding of the scripture you put in your heart. Now because the first thing that one of his principal assignment is to is to guide you into the truth. Now because the the, the whole thing is that truth. Now because all the gift we see from and why there be a time that we no need for gift again mm. there be a time that's right it's for a season right. so his principal work and it's not just just that gift mm. the principal work of the holy ghost is to guide us into the truth mm. so that we can is to get to bring us to god to transport us to god himself that is the principal work he comes to do now, because our journey is to God Himself. Our journey is to God. He bore them on the eagle wings and, mm. and, and brought them unto Himself. Mm. Even though they were sin Canaan, but he said He brought them unto Himself. Mm. Praise God. <laughs> Until this book become clear, the gospel will not profit us. For unto us the gospel was preached as well as unto them but that gospel preached to them did not, did not profit them it didn't bring the expected profit that god had been searching for mm. that is a definite profit that god has been searching for from the death of adam up to now so god they they he could not profit them couldn't. He said the same gospel is also coming to us to accomplish anything in Isaiah chapter 5. So shall my word be that God out of my mouth is not a tongue void. Until, so how can the word profit when you don't understand it? Not, not because it is the, the bride is actually the person that Jesus was talking that he fell on a good heart. Then he understand it. So there must be understanding. You keep on praying for understanding. Pray for understanding. The eyes of your understanding to be lightened. The eyes of your understanding to be lightened. So if you do not understand the book, that then I say, I understand by the book. If you do not understand it, how can we come into the life? How can we access it? How can we come into the fullness? That's why Israel failed. Israel failed. The church also failed. Because Israel was they, they, they had the keys of the kingdom. Because when, when God comes, he gives you the key. Yes, he gives you the key. Giving you the key is not an issue. Mm. He gets all the key. Mm. He gets all the kingdom. Mm. But Saul could not operate the keys mm. of the kingdom. Mm. He fell and the kingdom was taken away from him. Mm. He did not give it to another person who is better, a man of understanding. Mm. It was given to a man of understanding. Mm. It was given to a man who showed all things. Mm. So when God see the man, he said, yeah, this is where we set up. We build our throne here. This wow. is where we build up. In fact, the throne of God was built on David. 
Like I said, that when, when Jesus comes, he sit on the throne of David. Because of the understanding. That's why it was given to him. It's key. To understand the whole table. He said it's not on the... That's why David didn't just relate with that law given to Moses. He went beyond that law. He went into the new. Moses will set his own. He will set his own. Hallelujah. Who taught, who taught him that bringing the ark, That's you right. need diverse sacrifice. That's right. He'll make a step of sacrifice. He'll make a step. As it wasn't enough, he designed clapping. Let's clap. As it wasn't enough, he designed shouting. As it wasn't enough, he keep designing praising. He keep inventing types of worship. Right. Shout unto the Lord. Do this and do this unto, and do this. And introduce the priesthood of audition. He introduced it. Why? Because he had the key. Mm. Then he knew how to operate the key. He understand the person. Mm. It's all about understanding the person. Mm. Can't you see Paul? Even that I may know him. That I may. For Paul we walk and walk and coming to understand and coming to revelation. Yet, he was not satisfied. He came to Paul. He learned everything that is the world. Just going all out for God that I may know him. But yet, even God, he's telling us that, but even we still see this thing darkened. <laughs> We've not seen this thing as we ought, to. we ought to see it. We should be crying desperately. Mm. Look at David, my soul followed hard mm. after these things. As a deer panted after the waters. Mm. We don't even know that the things we are going for is killing us. I was sharing with somebody this evening. We went for to share. I just, you know, was in the house. My man said, just go out to reach out. We just fly and nothing again. I was sharing with the people I met somebody. I said, can't you see the what Paul was giving up is what we are running after to get. What Paul was running to get, we are running away from it. Paul was running from the things of the world and giving up on the world. Then Paul was embracing the sufferings and the dead. We are running from sufferings and the dead. I don't know if you follow up the Ephesians discussion. Oh, since Saturday when I was sharing on the sufferings of Christ and the, on, on suffering, somebody said, God forbid. Christ has suffered for us. Then somebody said, it's not my portion. Uh, I say, and I say, saying that it is not a portion, you're actually saying that the kingdom of God is not a portion. Yeah. Now, can't you see the state of the church? What Paul was embracing, we are running away. What Paul was running away, we are embracing. That's a hallowed church. That's what we can't be in that hallowed church and get God's result. We can't do it. I was just told them that right now there are two churches on the face of the earth. Two churches. Son's Church, David Church. Mm. That's the two churches now. Mm. It's so clear because God has already established David Church now. It's already established. That church has been established now. All right. It has been established. And what we keep hearing in Source Church is that Ka Dama just bought you. Ka, that pastor is building 3,000 sitters. That church is building three kilometers. Auditorium to seal up the three thousand years of abomination of desolation. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody is building hundred thousand cedars. That one came here. That one did a crusade. Wow, five thousand people came. These are the things you keep hearing in, the, in that church, or in the in the Davidic church. 
My brother, what you keep hearing in the church, I see you, so are we. Amen. So when you go to a place you're hearing, I see you, so are we. Just know it's the little church. Hmm. When you are hearing, laying down our life, coming out of the world, you know it's the little church. So there are two churches now upon the face of the earth. I just pray that the Lord will help us. Praise God. I just pray that God will help us to access this life fully and come into the fullness of the things He ordained. And come into the fullness of the things He ordained. Now, how can we understand? You see, I always tell people that the book of Revelation is the personal book to the bride. You see, God summed up from Genesis to, to Jude. He summed them up in a book. He said, this is the summation of all. So how can I begin to interpret these writings if I don't understand those words? Or, or probably they were not given to us to understand them, which I believe they are given to us. You, you, you can't write, I, I, I mean, I can't come now, write something for you and give you, this is yours, with the intention that you should understand it. It's useless. I don't know if you are understanding what I'm saying. So, I, you, 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 I'm writing for you to understand what I'm saying and then come into the understanding of what I'm saying. I don't know, in our in our side, we used to say that, like as you are now, if I if I give you a word in a riddle, hello, I don't understand. If I give you a word in a riddle and you don't understand what I said, it's a shame. In our place, they will tell you that the Bright price pay on your mommy say in Fen West. Where you don't understand it. Yeah. I don't know if it is being said in your in your side. So which means even in our culture, it is meant for you to understand proverb. It is meant for you to understand riddles. Because if you don't understand it, it means you are not born legally. Yeah. So those who are legally born in the kingdom are to understand it. If I'm legally born in the kingdom of God, that was said unto you is given to understand the mysteries of the kingdom. The mysteries of the kingdom. In case you don't understand, the kingdom of God is a mysterious thing. It's enigmatic. It's a mystery completely. God is a mystery himself. And this mystery is given to us to understand. Praise God. Watch what the whole scripture. If you read in uh, Isaiah 5, he said, My beloved has a, a vineyard. Well, see, these are these. I have done everything I, I could, but yet. Amen. So, what we have to pray and engage ourselves is to understand the mind of God per time, per season. The operation of God's work 500 years ago is not the same now. What God seek now and what God seek before is not the same now. Now, the matter of fact, the truth is this. We have claimed that we have worshipped God with neck noise. We've claimed we are having something. We have not laid hold on the real thing. You could say Paul crying, that I may lay hold of that which Christ laid hold of me. We have shouted for 2,000 years and we have not come into the real thing. 
for 2,000 good years, you have been shouting, shouting, shouting. But you have not laid hold on the real thing. Why am I saying this? We have expressed ourselves. We have expressed ourselves. We call it worship. But it's only God that knows what worship is. We have really expressed ourselves, our gift, the thing that is in us, you know, and, 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 and satisfying ourselves. I don't know. You see, the church have not given God worship for one day. <laughs> that is that is how bad it is. For one day. You know why? Why say this is that all the offerings and all the worship that have been seen in the church for two thousand years is contaminated. Can I tell you something? We, we, we have not come into that union. That's why sometimes we get at the high peak at the level. After a while, we still return to what we are used to. We experience God. You know, we feel that spiritual ecstasy. <laughs> as if we have robbed it. That climbers. Then we still return. Then what have you achieved by those things? I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. I don't know if you have come to the point you feel that you have robbed the, 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 the zenith, the high point. And after a while, you just return to what you used to. So the work look at, uh, uh, the, Christ, the, the work look attractive. I see, you know, there's so much attraction to it. But what the Lord wants, there is no there is no natural attraction to it. You don't see it. You don't see any natural attraction to what God wants. That's what you see when you see tabernacle from outside, it look ugly. Yeah, from outside it look ugly. Butter skin, it looks so ugly. <laughs> but when you come inside and enter the holy of holies, you see the whole thing. You see the gold, you see the treasures of God. It's not like some if I use some that you know there are some things that are not really. When you see a woman, what attracts people is just maybe the back or the side. But when he comes in toward the main fellowship, that's not where he go to. He go the other side. So that, that attraction, he will forget it. So there is a work that God is looking for. God is, he may not look, look attractive and things like that. <laughs> oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. I think we need to pray more. We need to pray for God to unveil, for God to open to us, for God to give us access to this book. For God to give us not just the book, for God, God to give us access to Himself. To give us access to Himself. Oh Father, we thank you. Oh Jimani Yala Pedito Shataya. Ambra do sete na bahushia, lampra da gayama shote ni yala brigado sataya, embra do jamalinga, ashomania lampra ha satola magaya le brigadesha, embra do boto shita la bahaya, oh shemalo subinadia, oh sosola bahaya, we thank you for Jesus, we thank you for John say I had a word that said come out of them and be you separate. Sometimes we think that come out means the that word there is the apostate church, corrupted church, hallowed church. It's actually the church. It's a come out from them and be you separate. Don't walk in their ways. Don't go in their ways. Don't go in their ways. Come out of them. It's not the world because we are already out of the world. It's the church. I don't want you to be part of their halotry. I don't want you to be part of it. Come out of them. You see, 
it is not easy to come out. Praise the Lord. You know, when we are sharing yesterday here, when we are sharing here yesterday, I said, God, to come out of this in it is, it's, it takes God to come out of it. It just takes only God. Even we that are, are taught, we are still part in some area, some ways. We need grace to come out of this thing. Why don't I just give him, let's just ask him the grace to come out of these things. Let's, him, oh Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we give you praise, we exalt you. Lord, we exalt you, Father. Lord, help us to come out of this. Help us to come out to God. Help us. Lord, help us, oh God. Help us, oh God. Help us, oh God. Oh, help us, Jesus. Lord, help us to come out of Babylon. Help us to come out of this order that is falling. Help us to come out of you, God. Help us, oh God. Help us, oh God. Help us, strengthen us, oh God. Give us the wisdom. Give us the strength. Give us the divine ability to come out of it, Father. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. Help us to come out to God. Help us not to eat their food, O God. Help us not to drink their wine, O God. Help us not to drink the wine of the Babylon, O God. Help us not to eat their food, O God. Help us not to discern them, Father. Help us not to discern them. Help us to be real, O God. Help us to do away with hypocrisy, O God. Help us, O God. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Jesus is always taught, he said, beware of the leaven of the Pharisee. He actually talks about their hypocrites. Beware of that leaven. And this is what feeds the church, the people of the church. The truth about it, sometimes we, we shout, we don't need money, but our heart is there, our, <laughs> our mind is there. We can come here and shout and shout the moment we go out, we hear that this pastor did this, we say, well, this is great, we still want it. Mm. Honestly, that's the truth about it, including me. Mm. Hallelujah. So beware of the level of the Pharisee, hypocrites. You hypocrites. You hypocrites. But not to make us, not to be, not to, to, to be hypocritical in our ways. To help us, that's what Paul said uh, uh, in First Corinthians 5, watching out that old lady. Amen. That bring forth a new love of sincerity. Being sincere in our hearts, being sincere to God. That you make us sincere. Let God make us sincere from our innermost being. In the most being. Sometimes I feel that if I'm studying scripture based on the light that is God is unveiling, I'll be feeling that everything that, that was written was against the church. Mm. Is that these people draw near to me with their, heart is far away. with their mouth? Their heart is far. Away. Talking to the, He's talking to the church you now. I, 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 I told us in church we are very good in lip service. We sing some song that we are not. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I live for you alone. That's some person that is singing. <laughs> I want to buy a car at Becker. That, <laughs> those guys are selling. He will just leave you at that song. Yeah. Rush to Becker. <laughs> he just leave you there with that song immediately. He wouldn't remember the song. <laughs> he wouldn't remember it. I'm telling you the truth. <coughs> I won't trade you. <coughs> what see if I don't go? <coughs> I won't trade you for riches of gold. Why you can trade him with 5,000? These people draw near with their mouth, but their heart. Who is as blind as my servant? Who is a servant in the church? Is as blind as my servant. I sought for a man and he didn't see. May God not seek for a man and didn't see us. Honestly, we must stand the God. We must stand the God. The Lord will help us to stand. 
the Lord will help us to be sincere. The Lord will help us to, to follow this thing with all our heart. Yes. With everything that is in us. He will help us to run this race and uh, finish this race. That we cry from the sincerity of our heart that I may lay hold of that which Christ lay hold of me. We have not lay hold of it. We have been shouting for 2,000 years. I'm telling you the truth. We have not lay hold of that which is real. That life. We have not lay hold of it. We will cry in pressing. When we lay hold of it, we will know. We will know. Jesus said, I am the light of life. He that follows me will have the same light of life. He that follows me, I have, I don't know how to, you know, explain that, 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 that scripture. I have what it takes to, to master this earth. I have what it takes to live in supremacy over this earth. I have what it takes to live on this earth with, with my peace in that. I have what it takes to live on this earth. Nothing happening will affect my inside. I have the light of life. Anyone that follows me, anytime we come into that state, then we know we are laying hold of that life. We know he that follows me, he was inside a sheep. There was a storm. He was peaceful at rest. He came back and said, peace be still. He has the light of life. He has the authority over life. He has authority, he has dominion over life. Coming, when we begin to see ourselves laying hold on these things, walking in this thing, when, when, when we come to, to how do how did we trust ourselves? Let us be sincere. If you see a thief now, come here. Let us be sincere. Will you hand over this laptop to him? You won't. But Jesus knew that Judas was a thief. He gave him the back. I have authority over this bar. My life is not in this bar. He was telling them. That was what he was just telling you. This is not our sustenance, this bar. Mm. Our sustenance is the Father. Mm. Is the Father sustain us, not this bar. Mm. Let it with the team. Let him do with whatsoever he wants to do. He must have been doing things. No, no, because some, some that they wouldn't have anything more. <laughs> they would eat it God. They be eating coffee. <laughs> but to show them that here I am the Lord of Sabbath. Greater than the temple is here. Yeah. I have the light of life. So when we begin to come into this life, then we begin to know that we are laying hold. How do I trust my brother? Some of us don't trust ourselves. You see a husband and wife, Christians, living in the same house, they don't trust themselves. They don't. Pastors, they don't trust themselves. I had a, 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 a story somebody told me uh, that when um, Kumuyi was starting a church, he was having a fellowship in, um, um, what was his name? I came founder of Redeem. I came that there was something I forgot his name. He said he was having a fellowship in his church. Some people came and asked him be careful of, of him that he may carry your okay, church sure. members. He asked them, where is he carrying them? Is he not helping? <laughs> that if he carried them to help him, it's okay. That's fine. Wow. That's, fine. That's trust. That's sincerity. That is a man whose heaven has filled his heart. Mm. But, but to us now, if people are coming, we are careful. We shield them and things like that. We don't have the light of life. We don't have love, meekness, things like that. So these are the light of life that we ought to have. Praise God. The Lord will help us to begin to lay hold on, on that which is free.
not just shouting. I have a question. Yes, sir. 